Hello po, magandang araw sa lahat. Maayong nga adlaw sa tanan, especially sa ating mga teachers at students na sumusubaybay sa video na ito. Ngayon po, yung, yung pag-uusapan natin will be all about common chemistry laboratory apparatus and equipment. Ano nga ba yung mga common chemistry uh, lab apparatus like glasswares na makikita natin sa laboratory, in a high school laboratory, and even in college laboratory. And pag-uusapan din natin yung mga different uh, basic functions nila at kung saan sila ginagamit. Muli, welcome po sa isa na namang exciting na chemistry discussion dito lamang sa Chemistry Tidbits, Bite Size Chemistry Concepts. Ako po si Jason Lagano. Pwede niyo rin akong tawagin Kuya Jay, isang chemistry intern dito sa PSI Hub. So without further ado, simulan na natin. Na kung mapapansin po natin, ano, uh, maihahalin tulad kasi natin yung uh, kitchen sa laboratory. Laboratory is like a kitchen, but you cannot taste what you're cooking. You can certainly relate the kitchen at your household as an academic laboratory as well no uh, you have in the kit in the kitchen you have a lot of different measuring cups different plates different utensils ladles fork uh, spoons teaspoons yun yung mga kinakailangan mong gamitin for cooking and it's the same way in, in in its essence same din ito sa laboratory na apply din ito sa laboratory Uh, may, may, sa laboratory, mayroon tayong mga different apparatus and equipment na may corresponding na mga uses at ginagamit natin ito para uh, maging successful yung mga experiment natin. So, um, isa-isahin natin ang mga la common laboratory apparatus and equipment. Madami-dami rin yung uh, tatalakay natin. Ano? So, To start with test tube, test tube rack holder and test tube brush. Now the main use of a test tube is that it is it serves as a, a small reaction vessel. Yung test tube rack naman, yun yung gagamitin mo as a support for the test tubes, gaya ng nasa picture na to. And then for test tubes, for test tube holder, yun yung gagamitin mo to clamp the test tube whenever you're heating. And for the test tube brush, ito yung gagamitin mo rin in cleaning the inside part of the test tube. Pagkapag tapos ka na nagamitin ang test tube and then you're restoring it na in a uh, storage facility na. Now for the glass containers, so isa-isahin natin. Yung beaker, it serves as a container and a, and a reaction vessel. Yung Erlenmeyer naman, o conical flask, and yung Florence flask or round bottom flask ito yung Erlenmeyer, ito yung Florence um, both of them, they are being used to hold liquid and due to their narrow neck you know, compared to their body they can prevent uh, evaporation to some extent yung Erlenmeyer ginagamit siya for uh, titration kasi mas madali din siyang swirl and then yung uh, Florence flask or yung round bottom flask yung ginagamit for as a container in heating uh, in di distillation setups. Yung volumetric flask naman, sa calibrated glassware na uh, ginagamit natin for accurate volume preparation. Yung prepare tayo ng mga solution, ito, dito, uh, ito yung gagamitin natin to, um, to really uh, achieve the 50 ml uh, say, an hydrochloric acid, acetic acid, yung gagamitin natin to prepare those solution. Now we have crucible and crucible tongs. Yung crucible, as depicted in this picture, it is made of a ceramic material and can withstand high temperature. <clears throat> Yan yung dahilan na ginagamit ito for heating sample in high temperature. Ito namang crucible tongs, ito yung ginagamit natin to hold the crucible uh, when we're transferring it uh, to the oven because it's hot. Yun. So, next is we have evaporating dish and watch glass. Yung dalawang to, ginagamit talaga siya for evaporating uh, your sample. 
uh, yung watch glass lang, pwede din siyang gamitin as a cover ng evaporating dish or ng other watch glass if, uh, if the experiment uh, uh, tells you to do so. For measuring apparatus naman, we have graduated cylinder, pipette, burette, Yun yung ginagamit natin for for volume measurements. Yung graduated cylinder for general volume measurement for qualitative purposes. Yung pipette for accurate liquid measurement. Yung burette for very accurate uh, liquid measurement. Ikukumpara mo yung accuracy ng uh, different instruments na to. Yung graduated cylinder talaga yung least uh, so calibrated siya but siya yung least accurate. Then, yung pinaka-accurate talaga is yung burette. Then we have aspirator as well. Yun yung ginagamit natin to um, to suck the uh, the liquid, no, from a from a container. Then ilalagay mo yung top of your uh, on the head of your pipette to suck on the uh, a liquid sample in a container. So yun. Yun yung measuring apparatus. And then now we have iron stand, iron ring, and iron clamp. Uh, yung iron stand and iron ring nagamit talaga ito for uh, set up support yung, yung uh, as you can see here uh, pwede ikabit yung iron ring sa iron stand mo then pwede siya maging stage ng different other uh, yung other instruments pa like wire gold no? you have iron rings and you have iron clamps so, so for clamps uh, it holds the pipette and burette and other instruments na kailangan ilagay uh, on top of your setup. Now we have funnel, dropper, mortar, and castle. So yung funnel, um, just like a, funnel, a kitchen funnel, yung ginagamit natin to uh, transfer liquid in a small, uh, with small opening, you know? And Usually, ginagamit, nilalagyan kasi yan ng uh, filter paper on top. Then, bago mo ilagay yung liquid. Depende naman sa experiment, ano? So, the droppers, <clears throat> yun yung ginagamit mo for dispensing drop by drop um, uh, liquid. And then, yung mortar and pestle naman is yun yung ginagamit for grinding your samples using press rotary remotion. We have stirring rod, wash bottle, and spatula. Yung stirring rod, obviously, ginagamit talaga siya for stirring, but pwede din siyang gamitin as uh, to dispense liquid. <clears throat> uh, we have wash bottle, uh, which can serve as a work, uh, water stock, and then for easy inside washing, kasi may maliit siyang nozzle, pwede mong ipasok yung glassware, and then you squirt water on the, on the walls of the, uh, of the glassware. And we have spatula and scopula. Yung ceramic, yung spatula and yung, uh, yung metal is yung scopula. Uh, ginagamit natin to for uh, transferring solid samples. Now we have heating apparatus and tripod. Now we have uh, here the Bunsen burner and then the alcohol lamp. <clears throat> Ito yung ginagamit natin as source of heat. And then, yung tripod naman as a support for your heating setup. Now, makikita nyo dito sa flame anatomy, ano? Uh, basically, may dalawang cones yung, um, yung flame. Yung outside cone at your inner cone. When heating, it is a must na alam mo kung alin na part doon yung pinakamainit. The hottest part of a flame is yung tip ng inner cone. So, if gusto mong mabilis mag-boil yung Kasi ang test tube mo, doon mo ilalagay yung, uh, yung bottom of your test tube. Now, we have wire gauze and thermometer. So, ang, yung wire gauze, yun yung ilalagay mo on top of a tripod or on top of an iron ring. Then, bago mo ilagay yung glassware your, uh, or your, yung container mo na iinitin mo. Kasi it evens out the heat coming from the heat source. Then, you have thermometer. Uh, it measures the temperature. Now we have different balances. No, we have triple beam balance, top loading balance, and analytical balance. Usually in high school laboratories, especially in those laboratories that are 
uh, in rural areas, usually talaga yung triple beam lang yung available kasi uh, yung dalawa is uh, very sensitive and needs routinary calibration. Yung triple beam is that you put the sample here and then you adjust the, um, the metal bars here to know the weight of your sample. And then for the top loading balance naman and analytical balance, both of them are automatic already. But the only downside is they need to be uh, calibrated every now and then. Kasi automatic sila. And needs electricity as well. So, yung top loading balance, yung pagkipinagkaiba lang nila is that yung sensitivity nila. Yung analytical balance kasi is my, uh, my covering sa sapan niya because it's more sensitive. And it, uh, and, and it can weigh usually up to 4 decimal places. Yung top loading is up to 2 decimal, usually up to 2 decimal places. Now we have fume hood. Yung fume hood para siyang cabinet na dun, dun mo ilalagay yung kamay mo then dun, dun ka uh, magta-transfer ng say yung mga uh, yung mga chemicals na ang baho yung mga chemicals na that are very dangerous or very toxic dun mo transfer yung mga chemicals say from one container to another or magpapapar ka ng mga different concentrations of that of that chemical to limit your exposure from fumes and toxic substances usually yung fume hood may switch kasi yan to have a negative pressure uh, inside uh, yung fumes is lalabas siya in a certain uh, vent it's very important to have a great knowledge and to be well um, acquainted with the apparatus and equipment in the laboratory because first kung alam mo yung mga instruments eh, magiging successful talaga yung um, paggather mo ng data pagkandak mo ng experiment yung second naman is for general safety purposes Kung alam mo yung pinaka-suitable na, uh, na instrument or na apparatus for your, say, for the part of the experiment, then malimitahan natin yung mga disgrasa, no? So, yun. Now, let us check comprehension. Name the apparatus and equipment. At yung mga sagot ay, tada! Yung una is Lorentz class or round bottom class. Yung pangalawa naman is yung analytical balance. And yung pangatlo is crucible with lid. So that would be all po. Thank you for tuning in.